Let us all kneel for the, for the angelus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners, now and in our Father, Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners, now and in our Father, Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God that they may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon, Father. Especially those who are uh, following us uh, in our uh, Mass uh, uh, live streaming, uh, especially the uh, Philippine Women's High School class of 1971, who now also celebrates their uh, golden uh, jubilarians. And uh, we include all of them in this special Mass, especially those who have passed away. 
Janet Salonga, Shirley Rose David, Ruth De Hoya, Doreen De Hoya, Belinda Nepomuceno, Emilia Cristina Navarro, Elizabeth Lacan Ilaw. And for complete healing and good health of Geraldine Somera, Michael and Lustine Queroda, and Reynaldo Reso Madero. And all of our intentions and those who participate in this uh, Holy Eucharist. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Together, I confess, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, Cry out full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways. Like a nation that has done what is just, and not abandon the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast, and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves, and you take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day, you carry out your own pursuits, and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast, so as to make your voice heard high. In this, the manner of fasting I wish, is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed, and lie on sackcloth and asses? Do you call this a fast? a day acceptable to the Lord. This, brother, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back, on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, 
and he will say, Here I am, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, the response is, A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, and the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled. Oh God, oh God, you will not spur. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, can the wedding guest mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and then they will fast. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, uh, good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon. And to our uh, Golden Jubilarians who are following our Mass as they offer this, as they celebrate, of course, their uh, uh, Jubilee year as a uh, high school uh, class of uh, 1971 of the Philippine Women's uh, University. Uh, just a uh, short reflections on our readings and what we are offering today for our uh, brothers and sisters who are following us in this uh, live stream mass. Uh, today is uh, Friday after us Wednesday. And uh, as we once again enter the Lenten season, uh, we are called to intensify our prayer, fasting, and alms giving. And if you try to recall and uh, hear rightly the gospel, the short gospel for today, it talks about fasting. Okay? Uh, the, uh, the disciples of John and uh, the Pharisees and scribes no, were uh, uh, amused and surprised that the disciples of our Lord Jesus did not fast. You know, I while well, reflecting on all of this that uh, we celebrate today and the message of the Gospel, I remember what Pope Francis said, and I quote him, distrust, I distrust a charity that costs nothing and does not hurt. 
whenever our interior life becomes caught up in its own interest and concerns, there is no longer room for others. No place for the poor. God's voice is no longer heard. The quiet joy of His love is no longer felt. And the desire to do good fades. He deplores the attitude which He labels globalization of indifference. We may say that the globalization of indifference already existed during the time of Jesus as depicted in the lives of the Pharisees and scribes. Their self-gratifying attitudes led them to tragically miss recognizing the Lord of the Sabbath himself in the persons, in the person of our Lord Jesus. A popular question we ask this day is, what are you going to give up this Lenten season? For the body's sake, one may give up sweets, carbohydrates, alcohol, etc. But if you want a change of heart, a more serious feeling, a more serious fasting is needed. A fasting from pride and to reach out to those who are marginalized. More quality time listening to God in prayer. Amsgiving giving that calls us to meet the poor in person. Our brothers and sisters of class uh, 1971 are following us and uh, in a way some and if not all adopted a new normal of communicating and having celebrations through online. No, marami hong nagbago for the almost one year of uh, being uh, you know in this kind of situation in pandemic. Misa natin, karimitan ngayon, online. Gatherings natin ngayon, online. At klase natin ngayon, online. So talagang nagkaroon ng 360 degrees turn in our life. That's why in our, one of the sponsors of, of our Mass today who invited me to preside, no? As they offer this Mass. And while they are following and listening to us, I always believe that reunions or homecomings creates a sense of belongingness. Homecomings and reunions are part of our lives. We often come home or even reunions to our alma mater or even to our respective homes to somehow regain strength and inspiration. In fact, at times we also experience what we call a sense of trying to regain our wholeness. And reunions and homecomings is simply going back to a place to recreate one's wholeness, to discover bonding, to heal separation, to rest, to happy, to be happy, and to discover once again the giftedness and blessings we receive. Lalo po ngayon, dahil sa pandemic, no? marami ho ang nalulungkot, marami ang hindi nakakaabot sa bawat isa, marami ang, in a way, separated by this situation. But these homecomings and reunions would be a good venue, even on online, to once again recreate our wholeness by preaching one reaching out to one another. Because that is also a, a good uh, way also in this Lent season to share the good things that God expected from us. That through communicating, through reaching out, 
through communion to one another, we will be able to somehow ease the difficulties, pains, and sufferings that most of us, in one way or another, experience today. Kaya tayo hinihinga ng Panginoon mag-fasting, hindi lang para magkaroon ng magandang katawan. Kung hindi, nagpa-fasting tayo because we want to be, have a sort of sacrifice in order to once again give ourselves and bring more room in our lives for love and compassion. Freely given even if it hurts us. Thus, in our self-giving and self-denial, our neighbors, our brothers and sisters experiences new hope and new life. Yes, about reunion, about homecomings, hindi ho ba? No? Nakakaroon ng room for once again uh, touching one another's lives. And in that experience, we bring to one another new hope and new life. And when we understand this calling, and when we imbibe and integrate this mission in our daily lives, we can truly understand what it means to celebrate life. What it means to celebrate blessings. That's why as we continue and embrace this Lenten season, let us ask God's grace to allow us to become holier persons than we were before. By fasting, we give God space in our lives. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen us in self-denial that we may set our minds and hearts firmly on Him. In our repetitions, we shall say, Lord, our true joy is in You. Lord, our, Lord, true, our joy true joy is in You. In you. Thus, as followers of Christ, we may conform to the precepts of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, our true joy is in you. That God's people may persevere in their Lenten sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, our true joy is in you. That all who deny themselves for the Lord's sake may find happiness with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, our true joy is in you. That the sick and the dying, and those who are faced with life's sorrow, may be filled with God's grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, our true joy is in you. For our 1971 high school alumni, that God may fill them with all joy and blessings that they need in their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, our true joy is in you. That our deceased relatives and friends may freely share in the life of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, our true joy is in you. Let us also remember and include in our prayers our personal intentions and all the intentions of our golden jubilarians and for all the intentions of this Mass. Heavenly Father, grant us the strength to devote ourselves to a life in the Spirit that we may rise now above our weaknesses and share fully in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten of servants, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise, we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
Roderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be, be with you, you all. Peace, peace be, be with you. Peace be with you.
friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should not enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel for the prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Most of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrows for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and holy, obedient to your will. Grant that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of the body, assistance in my temporal needs your blessings on all that I do, and the grace of all holy death. Amen. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must I knock, not at the door, to which God gives himself to us, and through which we go to God? 
I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in a doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayers will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find my miseries and weaknesses, a reason for granting my prayer. O Sacred Heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in by me and all your creatures forever. O sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother. You have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. O most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Please stand. So before we end our uh, Eucharistic celebration, uh, we would like to thank all of you who join us, especially our uh, high school class uh, Golden Jubilarians of uh, 1971 for offering and sponsoring our Mass. And we continue to pray, especially in the season of Lent, that uh, uh, the Church asks us to, to intensify our prayers for the end of this pandemic and continue to keep safe and healthy so that hindi tayo magkasakit at uh, hindi tayo mahawa ng anumang virus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you and may you have a blessed weekend.